Today I want to share with you about the perfect protein. I know you've heard about the perfect egg and all of those commercials that are out there, but why is this the perfect food? All right, let's talk about it. So protein, first of all, in your body, protein is very essential. Without protein and healthy proteins, our body will start wasting away. This is important. It's like in the dying phase, when if you've ever taken care of a family member who has gone into the dying phase and, and it was a slow process, you see their body wasting away because they aren't consuming healthy proteins and their body's not utilizing the healthy proteins and to keep the muscles strong. Okay, so protein is so important. Every system in your body, every tissue that has to do with growth and development and repair requires protein. In fact, your body requires 20, uh, um, 20, 20 amino acids, let me get my words right, and eight of them are essential. And when they say the word essential, that means you have to get it from your diet. Yes. So this egg is a perfect protein because it has all eight amino acids. So this is a perfect meal. Of course, remember when these weren't perfect and they were supposed to give us heart disease and all kinds of problems, which they, the science you know, industry has now said, oops, sorry, we were wrong. Yes, they were wrong. And scripture would, 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 would validate that they were wrong. Okay, so we need to have healthy proteins. So proteins are rated on a scale called the biological value. And eggs are like the, the barometer. They are a scored at 100. Other proteins are going to be less than that. Um, soybeans, which is interesting, I've always, um, they kind of score differently depending which book you're reading. If it's a book that likes soybeans, then they score high. If it's a book that doesn't, you know, there's so much bias <laughs> in the nutrition world. But anyway, many people will, will say that soybeans are a scored at 100 and other books will say they're at a 77. And so this is just to give you an idea of what's called a perfect protein. It means all eight amino acids are present. Okay. If I was eating a food that did not have all eight amino acids present, then I would be combining it with other foods, other proteins. So this is why you see dishes such as rice and beans. Combined, they, they give you all eight amino acids. Um, in the Mexican foods, you have corn and, and cheese. Those combined give you all eight amino acids. Now, the value of this information to you is you've got to have healthy proteins in your diet. Always start your meal with protein, include healthy proteins in your diet. Your cells cannot regenerate, they cannot, they cannot grow, they cannot build, they cannot repair, they cannot replace without healthy proteins. And believe it or not, protein is the second source of energy for your body. The first one is fat. I know you were thinking carbs, but it's not. It's, it's your fats are first and then your proteins. When we eat healthy proteins in our diet, we will be more satiated. In other words, we will be more satisfied. We won't be overeating as much because proteins fill us up quicker. They take longer to break down. Therefore, we are more happy with our meals. We are fuller longer. And therefore, our cells are saying thank you. I hope this is beneficial to you. Let me know. Leave some comments so I can hear your responses. And what is your favorite protein? That's what I'd like to hear. I'm a net reader, the biblical nutritionist, and I'm on mission to keep you on mission. Till next time. Mm -hmm.